Good morning, everyone. This is Carl Lewis. Um, welcome to this uh, Wednesday's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. Uh, this Wednesday, we're going to be focusing on doing a high-level tour of uh, Vision 33's manufacturing edition for Business One. Uh, just so you'll know, this is the first time that I've actually run the manufacturing edition in version 8.8.2. Uh, I'm running patch level 6, which happens to be a problem child. And uh, I understand that in patch level 7, some of the errors that I'm seeing once in a while uh, go away. Uh, so uh, keep that in mind. I know that uh, I think I saw Nathan Haglund out there, and Nathan is running this uh, today in uh, version 2007. So um, it is compatible with our later versions. And um, today I'm just going to go over some of the sort of the feature list and show you uh, a bit about the application and uh, uh, be sure that you understand the potential of its uh, possible help uh, in the manufacturing area for Business One. Um, just as a reminder, um, you know, about our, our links so that every week you can uh, check on the calendar and see what's coming up. You can view the web chat recordings from previous weeks and you can go to our Tips and Tricks page. Uh, for any documents that we might produce. Um, today, the agenda that we're going to try to take a look at in a little bit is uh, to sort of look at uh, the manufacturing edition and these topics, uh, the basic setup, item setup, uh, how we handle engineering change numbers, uh, how we automate serial number creation, uh, look at the uh, basic uh, configurator, uh, make-to-order automation, uh, bomb report, uh, how we've uh, sort of made that easier to run, uh, look at some UDFs we've added to the bills of material, uh, alerts and queries that are available, uh, look at uh, the function we call critical materials planning, uh, production order dispatch screen, uh, and uh, how we look at labor and materials capture and posting, and uh, batch backflush. There are a few